You never want to walk through your audience without a cover up prior to the show because you're giving away the surprise. I started almost 20 years ago and the reason I did it was because I was in an accident and the physical therapy just didn't appeal to me so my physician encouraged belly dancing to increase core strength and I thought oh belly dancing you've got to be kidding me but he wasn't teasing and I did go to class with my best friend talked her into going with me and um, it stuck I liked it I mean, the women were very self-confident in who they were and very focused on learning the dance and I just thought I want to do that I want to look like them I want to be confident too and then my music <laughs> Common misconceptions for a bunch of bimbet hussies. And we're genuinely not. The majority of dancers are either going to college, have been to college, have multiple degrees, speak many languages. There's judges, attorneys, nurses, doctors. There are so many people who take this dance and you don't realize it because they don't say anything. <laughs> It's all very feminine, it's very subtle, it's very soft, even with the percussive section. It's very small movements, it could be sharp, but small. Lewd, no. Lewd is a totally different style of dance. It's a wonderful dance. You find it's okay to be a female. It's okay to like yourself for who you are, for what you look like for good hair days, bad hair days. It's okay to like yourself. You know, there's constantly media input saying, well, you have to be this tall, you have to weigh this much, and you have to wear these clothes, and you have to wear that jewelry and drive this car. And no, you really don't. You really don't. You just have to like yourself and be okay with what's going on in your life. And the dance does that gives you the confidence to step back and say, no, I don't have to. I can do it my way and still be happy with it. <laughs>